happy tuesday you already know what today is welcome or welcome back to my channel ray diva me please i'm ray so let's go ahead and get into this video today i will be doing a get to know your nail tech tag so I have a few questions that I came up with myself <laughs> that I felt that would help you get to know me. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first question is going to be, what is your name? So my full name is Rainisha, but I prefer to go by Ray because it is just a little bit easier for most people to remember. I have went all throughout my life that <laughs> of people mispronouncing my name, calling me Renisha, Ranisha, Renisha, from how they spell it. So I just prefer to call me Ray. Question number two, how old are you? And I am 26 years old. I am a Capricorn. The question number three is, what made you start doing nails? So I started doing nails just because I was really into it. Um, I decided that I was going to pamper myself with getting my nails done every two to three weeks a few years ago. And I felt that it was a really great way to ex express myself. So I decided that I wanted to learn how to do them on my own. And then I also have noticed that in Missouri, where I'm located, there are not a lot of black owned luxury nail salons. So. I wanted to be the first one. So the fourth question is going to be, when did you start doing nails? So I officially started doing nails February, I wanna say fourth, because that's the day school started. <laughs> but we probably didn't get into really doing nails until the probably following week. So it wasn't until this year that I started doing um, nails officially. I never touched any product before I went to school. Where are you located is the fifth question and I'm currently located in Kansas City, Missouri. So if you are watching, make sure you go go ahead over to my Instagram page and my Facebook at Diva Me Please. I'll put it here, right here, over here, over there. And um, you'll be able to go check me out, look at my work and you love it book me this question is what is your favorite thing about doing nails my favorite thing i'd have to say is all of the possibilities of a design that you can do on a hand on you know for the whole hand to be cohesive or just on a nail i'm really finding out that a lot of it, I mean, they don't really have to match each other um, per se, but you know, just as long as they flow all together, it can be a bomb set. And I just love hearing the satisfaction of my clients when I hear them say, ooh, you did that. I see you, girl. And it just, you know, boosts my confidence a little bit. So what is your favorite nail shape is the seventh question. And my favorite nail shape, I will have to say, is stiletto because they they make me feel like I'm I'm her, I'm it, I'm the bomb diggity and a bag of chips. It makes me feel like all of it. And then I also like coffin shape. The coffin shape is a go. Right now, I am currently rocking a square shape. I've been working on that shape. That one gives. It, it's just it should feel or be simple but it's not and i catch myself overfouling sometimes trying to get too perfect but 
And the eighth question is going to be, what is your favorite enhancement product? product? And I have to say right now, my favorite is poly gel or gel paint. Um, just because it does not set until you cure it under the light. So it just gives you ample amount of time to be able to perfect my shape before I decide that I am all finished with it. With acrylic, it depending on what brand you're using, it does give you um, kind of a time limit of that you're like, hey, you got to get this done, you know, hurry up, or I set, you know, make it move, feels good. Question number nine is, as a new nail tech, what is the most challenging? And I say that the most challenging for me currently is wanting to get my shape down. But I know that it is going to come with time, but I just want to get it down. And sometimes, like I said earlier, I find myself over filing just because I want it to be too perfect. So I got to get out of that habit and just uh, just go with the flow or figure out um, what technique really works for me so that I'm able to perfect also, my shape. So I know I need to work on or what is also challenging is the thickness of the nails. Like I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Sometimes I find myself having to go back and, you know, really take down a lot of the, sh uh, the shape of the nail or the bulk bulkiness of the nail with my sanding bit or my hand file. I know I have to work on that. What do you do when you're not doing nails? So I am in a relationship so I spend a lot of my time with my boyfriend really just chilling in the house doing chores you know figuring out um, what I want to post next for my channel and also, I, I'm still in currently looking for a location that I want to work out. So I'm also working on that. And then occasionally we go out to and hang out with friends. You know, just, just really chilling. <laughs> for real, just really chilling. Not really doing much because I am a homebody. So, well, we're homebodies. What made you join YouTube? So I wanted to join YouTube just because uh, looking on YouTube, there are not a lot of channels out there that show the complete process of how one grows to the following and the technique and all of that great jazz that they currently are using today. They kind of just, you know, start after they have built their, you know, their clientele, built their business up and and just show you and tell you how they did it. I just wanted to actually give visual representation of my journey, um, how I am per over time growing and perfecting my craft. start somewhere so as as you see with my videos over time I'm getting better I'm adding and tweaking things it's just all a process and I just want to give encouragement that that you can do it that anyone can do it as long as you put your mind to it last question is why should you subscribe to my channel and what is my channel about so I would want you to subscribe to my channel if you are interested in doing nails or currently doing nails and want to know what's next in the process. Um, you can come to my channel and view mine to also be able to leverage my journey and make it your own if you're interested in starting a nail business and um, want to know where you should where you where what is your next step <laughs> or where you should go and then you know join along on my journey leverage my information the channel is mainly going to be about nails and how i do nails uh, eventually tutorials of nails and also giving you updates about my entrepreneur life, growing my business, and 
occasionally i might throw in a couple of lifestyle videos i have locks i know i always wanted to when i started my locks six years ago i wanted to start youtube journaling my lock journey uh, so i may throw a couple of those videos in there some couple of vlogs travel possibly it just really depends on what you guys will really want to see so uh, that is all of the questions that I have today. I really hope these questions give you a little insight of to who I am and a little foundation for who I aspire to be as well. And growing my channel, growing my business. I hope you are I hope you come along and and watch and join. Make sure you check out some of my other videos that I've uploaded, um, a few of my Watch Me Work videos, as well as me talking about my business up until now. So don't forget to hit that like button down below, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are alerted every time I upload every Tuesday and Friday. Again, happy Tuesday. Have a blessed one. Until next time.